Okay, welcome back to Felicity's Driver Training. I'm Fliss, AKA the Trailer Lady. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you uncouple a car and a caravan. Now, funnily enough, it is actually the reverse of what I showed you in my other video on how to couple. But there is a few little tips that I wanted to share with you. So that's why I've made a separate video. So we are on our pitch. We've got to our campsite. We've pulled the caravan forward as our last manoeuvre to elongate here on the um, drawbar. So we can now safely uncouple the caravan. So the first thing is the handbrake. It's the last thing you take off. It's the first thing you put on. What that means now is that we've got some safety. If we're going to uncouple and that decides to roll away, we've got the handbrake on. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to disconnect my electrics quite early on in the process. Because again, if things are going to start to go in opposite directions, I don't want that to rip out because that's going to cost me money. So with the electrics, lift the cap. Opposite, we're going from 12 o'clock back to 9 o'clock on a 90 degree turn. Disc is now at 9 p.m. and it will just come out in your hand. With a 13 pin plug, you should not be pulling or yanking. It's a twist action and it should be gentle. These are very easy to break, these plugs. Okay, now most caravans will have somewhere for the plug to go, but because I've upgraded my seven pins to 13s, it just has to hang there, unfortunately. Right, now we're onto the jockey wheel. So, the most common mistake on the jockey wheel is that people drop it to the ground and then wind from there. And the problem with that is once the car's gone, you're gonna to struggle to level your caravan up. So what you do is drop your jockey wheel so there is a couple of inches gap between the wheel and the ground. Tighten that back up, start to wind from there. And trust me, it will make all the difference and you will never get in a pickle with your jockey wheel. So we're gonna wind that down to the ground until it's just kissing the ground. You can just feel the pressure on the jockey wheel. Now we need to lift the stabiliser. So this is going to feel quite tough and it should do because that means the pads are working. And then we need to hold this handle up. Now at the moment you have the tow ball and there's a clip under the tow ball. By lifting that handle we're holding that clip back so that we can then retract the tow ball. That's why you have to keep hold of it in that upright position. And then you're going to wind at the same time. So that's winding. You wind till you can see daylight between the hitch and the tow ball, and we can. And then the last thing we're gonna do is disconnect the breakaway cable. Always leave that till last, just in case the caravan decides to go off on a little jolly, we've got that extra safety. So now we can take the car away and we can use the spirit level to level up the caravan front to back, left to right unless it's already been done when you were pulling on, we can do the front to back levelling and then we can put the steadies down, set the water up and start to enjoy our holiday. So if you enjoyed that video, please give it a like and please subscribe to this channel and uh, keep watching for more videos. Thank you.